Good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream. I'm going to do the spiritual principle a day in a meditation for February the 25th. Hope you're doing well this morning. Let's go ahead and get into that screen. The title of today's meditation, Gratitude as a Practice. One of the ways we express our gratitude for the gifts of recovery is to help others find what we have. That comes from the Just for Today, Giving It Away, January 30th. So the meditation book for January 30th, okay? During our first days of being clean, who of us is contemplating the intangible gifts of recovery? Nobody, that's who. We are thinking about making it through the day without using. We're focused on ourselves and how we are going to get through the pain, uncertainty, and shame. As the weeks and months pass, the physical, emotional, and spiritual gifts of recovery become more evident. And we find ourselves feeling grateful for the journey we have begun and for the people who ha have helped us, excuse me. Some say that a grateful addict will not use. So far, that's turning out to be true, though we know it's not a guarantee. We also hear that gratitude is an action. A member put it like this, gratitude isn't just a feeling we bask in or a state of being we pay lip service to. Walking around feeling grateful, we're clean, and for the gifts of recovery is fantastic, but gratitude is less meaningful without evidence of its expression. It's an action as well as an awareness and an attitude, which means that it's something we do and practice. There is perhaps no truer or more practical expression of gratitude in NA than helping another addict find or rediscover their path in recovery. If one of the most common manifestations of the disease of addiction is self-centeredness, Naturally, one of the ways we counteract that is by being there for new members or any member in need. There is a symbiotic relationship between gratitude and service, between expressing our gratitude through supporting others and staying clean ourselves. As we say in NA, we can only keep what we have by giving it away. And on a day when we're feeling ungrateful, which happens to all of us, we can do something about it. We can remove our attention from ourselves and focus it on someone else. Expressing our gratitude is a skill too. We de develop it, excuse me, over time and rely on it to keep our disease in check. Truly, this is one of the greatest gifts of recovery. Today, I will express my gratitude in the most fundamental in a way. I will seek opportunities to help another member. I want to keep what I have so I can continue to give it away. Let's take a moment of silence followed by the we version of the serenity prayer. Moment of silence now, please. Thank you. God grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can. Just for today, please and thank you. Gratitude is a practice. I like that. Um, because I do believe that every spiritual principle, I believe, it may not be the case. I would have to run through them all. And there's so many and really weigh this statement out. But I would say 99.9% .9 of the time, <laughs> right? 
I love myself that 0.01%, right? So 99.9% .9 of the time, I would say every spiritual principle has evidence of having it by something that we do or don't do. Now that that's a high percentage. I'm I'm sure, you know, someone can prove me wrong. I'm sure of that, right? I don't mean to be nitpicky about it, but I just really do believe that every spiritual principle, including gratitude, has an act that follows the claim that we have. Let's talk about let's talk about something else. Let's talk about love. Okay, love is something that I believe is a spiritual principle and I believe that it has proof of its existence within myself. Um, let's talk about another grat uh, spiritual principle besides gratitude first. Uh, how about integrity? All right. I believe I'm an integral individual. Are you? Think about it. Integrity. How have you displayed integrity lately? As I previously stated, it has proof. It has something that we do or don't do that goes along with it. It is symbionic, right? Um, this this word right here. this word right here, there is a relationship, a bonding of two things, even though in and of themselves, they're separate. There is a melding, symbiotic, that happens, right? There's a melding that happens if you research that word, okay? So every spiritual principle should have something that goes along with it, some act that goes along with it. And this is what this meditation is talking about. We could say we have gratitude and not act like, like we do at all, at all. I've seen it. I've done it. Come on. I've done it. I've talked about having spiritual principles and then in the next act just went completely the opposite of what I said or claimed that I had. So here, when it talks about gratitude and service are symbiotic, they go together. And here's the beautiful thing about it. Even though they can be separated, I can do service in a sense. I can do service and not have gratitude. Right. Um, you ever heard someone say we need some volunteers or someone say we have um, I didn't volunteer, but I was voluntold. That, that that is a that's a rough statement. I mean, it sounds so simple, but there's a difference between volunteering and being voluntold. Like my boys here now. Oh, uh, when they wake up, I already have a I already have a list of everything I need for them to do today within the, our home to make sure that it is comfortable and clean. All right. Uh, but it is common for me to say to one of them, would you go out to my Jeep and bring me such and such? And when they were a bit younger, they actually thought when I asked that question, that they they could tell me yes or no and they would say things like i'm i would love to but i'm really in the middle of a video game right now with my friends and i said boy if you don't get out there and get such and such i didn't nobody ask you and they would say you did yes you did you did ask me would 
I please go and okay, okay, you got me there. But that's not really the type of question that you can say no to. And they would just, oh, they hate it. That type of expectation. And so now when I ask them to do something, I try to be more mindful as to whether or not that is a genuine question. And so a lot of times I rephrase it. I need you to take a break from that game and go out to my Jeep and bring me, right? My laptop from the back seat, bring me that or bring me that bag or bring me such and such, right? And they might have the audacity to ask me, do you need it done now? No, if you don't get up and get, go get that, yes, I do. Right? What, what am I going on about? I'm going on about the difference between doing service with gratitude and just doing service because somebody told you that you need to do it. it, it I'm talking about within the rooms of Narcotics Anonymous now. You can do service work, but if you're doing it just because your sponsor told you you need to do some service work, I admire that, but that's not quite what I'm talking about. I'm talking about having gratitude and having the acts that follow that. Oftentimes will include service, but it can include many other things. It started out talking about, we have heard it said that a grateful addict will not use. And for most of us, we can say absolutely. And for even those that have relapsed, they can also say, absolutely. I wasn't very grateful. Hindsight, I wasn't very grateful when I picked up and relapsed. I wasn't. Because it seems like to me, if I had some gratitude, I would have held on to my clean time and all of the beautiful things that recovery has brought my way. You know, unfortunately, we do have that experience in here sometimes, right? But we don't want that to be our fallback, right? We don't want to fall back on that when we're talking about gratitude as a practice. We want to make that the exception, right? That is not something that happens to most of us. Most of us do come in here and because of our gratitude, we choose to be of service. And that's where the real value is. As with any other spiritual principle, we have the power of choice. And so what are we going to choose today? I can tell you what I'm going to choose today. I get maybe four hours of sleep, sometimes five. If I'm truly exhausted, I will get more. But just there's this internal clock that wakes me up, right? Uh, and so this week, my gratitude for recovery, that's this week, right? It has to be expressed in my self-care. It has to be because if I have another week like I've had this past week, I don't, I don't know that my body can handle it. Okay. So gratitude speaking in service doesn't always mean that it has to be a benefit to someone else. Gratitude can speak when we care and when we share the NA way. Gratitude can speak in, in that vein, right? When I take a phone call from a sponsee instead of letting it go to voicemail. Gratitude can speak when I actually take good care of myself and make sure I get no less than eight hours of rest, right? That benefits other people in the long run, but self-care is also a part of my expression of gratitude. Today, what are you going to do? That's the question. That's what this podcast comes down to today. Will you be able to say these words? Today, 
I will express my gratitude in the most fundamental in a way. I will seek opportunities to help another member. I want to keep what I have so I can continue to give it away. I want you thinking about that, not just, not just of service to others, but how are you of service to what you have invested in, in yourself and in your own recovery? We have to, because I can't, I can't truly be of service to other individuals unless I'm doing the things I also need to do so that I can continue this process of recovery. Those two are also symbiotic. They are also related to one another. And when I'm ungrateful, I don't wanna miss that point. On the days that we're feeling ungrateful, I highlight it for you. And all of us have been there we can do something about it, right? We can be of service. And for me, it's been a guarantee to take me out of that ungrateful state. Family, my name is Mighty Stream. I've so enjoyed your company today. I'm looking forward to spending tomorrow with you as well. I want for you to have a beautiful day on purpose because you deserve it. And if you do not do it for yourself, nobody else is going to. We have to, we have to apply spiritual principles in all of our affairs, including taking good care of ourselves. Talk to you tomorrow.